Hello, my dear friends. My name is Paul, and amateur radio callsign is Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. Welcome to my amateur radio ham shack. So, what is the ham shack? Actually, this is the room or the radio room, the room where is all equipment what we need for successful amateur radio contacts. So. Why do we need actually communicate with somebody through the radio? Actually, it is a passion and uh, we call it like amateur radio hobby. And the main thing is to have a friends in all around the world. And for successful contacts, we need just transceiver and antenna. Mostly the antenna is located on the roof or somewhere in the garden. We need a big antenna to have a contact or sometimes even small antenna for a successful contact and a low power. In today's video let me show you what I use here in my ham shack, what equipment I use, what the radio, antenna and so on. So let me introduce this radio room for you. Well, let me start with radio transceiver. The radio transceiver is the first most important thing what you need to have if you want to communicate with somebody through the radio waves. The other and also most important uh, uh, thing what you need is the antenna. In my case, I'm using the ICOM transceiver, which is the ICOM 7610. This is the SDR or software defined radio. Um, it is high quality radio with good uh, reception, very good receiver on it. And also, as you can see, I am able to see activity on the bands, which is also very nice. Uh, feature especially when the propagations are not good. The other thing is the antenna. So antenna in my case is directional antenna, the hex beam antenna and uh, this antenna is directional for one reason. As actually if you wish to have a contact with somebody from the other part of the world, if you point your antenna to some specific direction, as in my case, to the south, I can communicate with somebody from Africa, because this is direction to Africa. So now you are looking on the, you're looking at the uh, Yezu G1000 DXC, which is antenna rotator. So here, by these knobs, I can rotate my antenna to any direction and I can make 360 degree rotation of my antenna. So here on the left side you can see my homemade speaker and on the right side there is original ICOM speaker. I have two speakers because this radio as you can see is able to receive uh, two channels at the same time. So I can actually receive um, channel A with one frequency and channel B with the second frequency. So on both speakers I'm able to receive both frequencies at the same time. So this is how it works. I know that I not use it very often. Okay, next here on the left side you can see the uh, power supply which is also very important to have and you should have the power supply which will be able to power your radio with your full power. So in my case it is only 100 watts. There are people who are using 500 watts or even 1 kilowatt. In my case I use the 30 amp uh, power supply and it's quite working quite well. On the left side here you can see 
the microphone, which is actually the studio microphone. Very cheap, in my case, it's the Chinese studio mic. And it cost me maybe 40, maybe 30 euros. I have connected this microphone to this little device. And this is actually the 8-band equalizer and audio compression unit. This has been made in Ukraine by Uniform Radio 6 Quebec Whiskey. It is very good equipment and you can uh, tune your microphone or any other microphone uh, to the best audio clarity and you have very very good signal on transmit on your transceiver. Also right there you can see the headset microphone which is uh, from Heil. This is the headset Heil Pro Set 6. It has also its own microphone so you can use actually this one or this one as you wish. Next you can see three uh, Kuangshengs of VHF and UHF walkie talkie transceivers. So I use these transceivers when I am outdoors, on the trips and so on. Three of them are the same models, uh, the Kuangsheng UVK5, but this one is modified and you can see the video in my, on my YouTube channel. The modification is uh, that I added this HF vertical antenna to it and I'm able to receive also short waves not only VHF and UHF but VHF UHF works still very good on these radios over here you can see my the latest receiver I'm still working on a video about this receiver so I can't wait until I show you the uh, the new video about this receiver it is excellent receiver by the way here you can see the charger or the multifunction charger for my phone, smartwatch and headset. I have a lamp which is dimmable so it's a pretty cool lamp. Okay so let's go to the right and here you can see another receivers so here you can see the shortwave receiver ATS25 MAX decoder which is a shortwave receiver only and right here you can see the same but upgraded model ATS25 MAX decoder 2 this one has custom made enclosure with this stand and you can see all this equipment what I have uh, and the links for them into the video description. Over here you can see the ultra portable receiver, also HF receiver, the ATS120. And here is also the Radi shortwave VHF and UHF receiver RF919 and you can see also the video <clears throat> on my YouTube channel. When I am testing these receivers and playing with them mostly I'm using my magnetic loop antenna which is uh, pretty cool for listening and also I did also some amateur radio contacts I'm using this loop antenna when I'm indoors or when it's a thunderstorm outdoors and I need to uh, disconnect all my base antennas. So I'm still online with this kind of antenna. Okay, so here on the second floor of, of my desk you can actually see two monitors. The left one and the right one are connected together 
to this very, very small computer I have from China, from the AliExpress, and also the links you will find down in the video description. This is very cool computer. You can connect actually three uh, monitors with the HDMI connectors. And here on the right side, you can see the USB connectors, actually three of them. On the back side, there is also output from the sound card, the wireless keyboard and also wireless mouse. Here you can see the USB, USB uh, uh, receivers. So again, I'm using these uh, two monitors mostly together when I'm live streaming on my YouTube channel. On the right side you can see the stand for the headset and here you can see the Radi Meteo station from Radio DT and you can see also or you can find also the link down in the video description. And finally the very and the most important thing is to have grounded all your equipment and for this I made this plate which is uh, uh, mounted on the uh, wall actually and you can see the cables coming from my antennas and the cables coming to my transceiver and for this reason I grounded hold this thing to the ground and always when I'm leaving my house I disconnect preventually both uh, antenna connectors so uh, for this purpose I added the BNC connectors to it because this connection is much quicker than the SO239 and PL259 connectors connected together so this is also my advice always when you're leaving your house and nobody is there I always especially in the summertime recommend to disconnect your antennas from your equipment also the very important thing is to ground your antennas outdoors and in front of input into your house the cables the other thing is uh, the surge protections I have a surge protections here on the sockets so as you can see these protections are ready because the green light this uh, black box as you can see here is the EMI filter and uh, I use this EMI filter for my transceiver it uh, blocks uh, any noise which is present in the grid or electric grid it is also a very good thing and it makes your reception even better okay so here is you can see the Ethernet or internet connections and also here is connected my ICOM transceiver on the left side you can see the charging sockets and you can see that in all of them is a switch so it allows me to switch on or off all three chargers for my Kuangsheng's radios together okay my friends so this was my amateur radio ham shack or radio room I hope that you enjoyed this very short video and if you have any questions or if you wish to find the link for these equipments you will go down into the video description I hope that you enjoyed maybe inspired and I hope to hear you on the bands or maybe you will hear me on the bounce 73 which means good luck to you all guys and hope to see you next time bye bye